What's up everybody, it's me Greg Miller, DC Comics fanboy number one on the internet. And you know, I wake up this morning, pull the sleep out of my eyes, open up Twitter, and what do I find? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yes, we're a week out from San Diego Comic-Con, which means everything's starting to hit the newsstands, and here you go. Entertainment Weekly's Comic-Con preview, Batman vs. Superman, front and center. Everyone on Twitter was asking me what I think, because they know I'm obsessed with Superman and DC Comics, so I figured rather than respond to 20 different tweets, I would run through all the images with you, tell you what I think of them. All right, so looking at the cover right now, I think I'm going to start, I'm, I love the cover, I'm su I mean, this is a dream come true for me. When I'm reading comic books, when I'm watching DC Super Friends, you think I'm ever imagining I'm going to see this actually come to reality? I see so many Superman movies go and fail, so many Justice League movies go and fail. Like, to actually get to the point now where it's actually happening, it's really happening, this is going to happen in March. I'm going to get to see Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman on the silver screen. It's incredible. So I'm super stoked to see it, but I've seen a lot of negative reactions, so let's talk about that to begin with. A lot of the kids are saying on Twitter, Batman looks fat. Batman doesn't look like he belongs there. Batman this, Batman that. I agree. Batman looks weird in this image. Why? Because it's well lit on a white background. That's not where Batman is. Like, Superman and Wonder Woman, they can go to both. They can be in the dark. They can be in the light. That's how it works. Batman exists at nighttime. So, yeah, when you put him on a white background and you light him really well, he's just Ben Affleck in a suit, and that's weird. And it is a, a chunky suit. Here's the thing about it, though. I love the suit. I love the short ears. I love the bulky build. It's a different kind of Batman. I love that it's gray and black. I think that's a great nod to the comics. I love the big symbol. I'm saying this suit, as we already saw in that one, two, three second part of the trailer, right? Looks great in motion in darkness. Yeah, just standing there in Entertainment Weekly, it looks weird. But Batman doesn't belong in the light. And if you need exhibit A of all this, of course, you can go look at Dark Knight Rises. When Nolan was like, let's put him in a, let's put it, uh, let's have him fight in the daytime and put him in stark white rooms. And you're like, oof. That's just a guy in a suit. That doesn't look cool at all. That's the thing. You can't do that to Batman. Batman exists in the darkness, and the rest of the images prove that. I'll show you when we get there. But I'm stoked with the bat suit overall. Do I think it looks weird here? Of course. But I'm not getting hung up on this. It's going to be great in the movie when it's in motion. I'm not, the costume designs are my least, least of my concerns in terms of this. But jumping over to Wonder Woman, I think she looks great. Love the fact that it's the nod to like the warrior outfit we know from what she's Kingdom Come, just comics in general, where she's just in her battle suit, she's ready to go, right? Uh, she has her sword drawn, she has that battle skirt on. I like that there's more color in this than we've seen before. It's obviously already muted. I wouldn't put it past Snyder and fuck folks to put it a little bit uh, more muted, make it even a little bit darker. And then Cavill's Superman suit, what else can we say? I mean, I like it. I wish it was brighter. Uh, it looks a little bit like it's got more color here. Hopefully they've taken a bit of our feedback and are lightening up just a little. Not not all the way, but it's just a little. And we'll see what happens. But of course, tons of stuff on EW.com. Of course, a huge shout out to Entertainment Weekly for this exclusive. Everyone should go there and read it. I'm not going to read it at all. I'm just going to show you some of the images, give you my impressions. Here we have the Batman Superman face off. Uh, the caption down there talks about it being the climactic rooftop brawl, which you've seen. He does have kryptonite in this suit. It is a strength augmenting suit. That's awesome. Um, this image, of course, amazing. Them facing face to face in this showdown. Like, yes. Been waiting forever to see that. Uh, in a still frame, it looks kind of weird that because obviously the suit is you know, their CG for the most part, and then Affleck's face looks more like it's in the shot with everything else. But totally in love with it. Can't wait to see this fight. Can't wait to see what they do with it. Uh, I'm stoked, obviously. I, I, you know, surprise. I know you weren't expecting me to be excited. Now, this is probably, for me, I think the most exciting breadcrumb trail they've put in this. So this, of course, Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, Batman, but their alter egos, Bruce Wayne, Diana Prince. The uh, little thing here is another quote from Affleck saying that basically they know each other's secret identities at this point, which is interesting. But what I loved was Susan Eisenberg, Wonder Woman from Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, put up this retweet, right? Where it's Bruce and Diana, Bruce and Diana. And it's like, oh my God, because if you remember in Justice League, of course, Bruce and Diana had this love affair. They had this attraction, right? They were becoming this thing. They were the love interests. And so keep that on your back burner for a second about Batman v Superman. Let's jump over here. This is the article Entertainment Weekly put up, EW.com. And man, this lip sync battle show. If they have a YouTube channel, you should go watch the pre-show because I bet some sexy fat nerd hosts it with another sexy thinny, skinny nerd. Anyways, Ben Affleck has this quote in here, right, about his Batman. He's on the verge of being swallowed up by the anger and the rage that we see haunt this character and the other manifestations of it. But this guy is further down the line and has become more embittered and cynical. Ding, 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 right? Here's the thing about Batman in this movie. We, we know that he doesn't trust Superman. He's this alien. This is the whole thing about, right, is like... The trailer showed it is uh, humanity either thinks that Superman's a god or the devil. He's either Christ or the Antichrist. He's here to save us or destroy us. 
Batman in this from everything it's this article talks about, right, is like he's leaning more towards this guy needs to be stopped. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure of his motivations. I got to get on this. So he talks, you know, and Affleck himself here talks about him being like at the end of his rope, pretty much, right? He's cynical. He's bad. Who wants to watch a, a very very cynical, jaded dick of a Batman for? Batman v Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Justice League 2, so on and so forth in this universe. I feel like Batman needs to start this movie, be super negative, super I hate everything. I, he's lost sight of what he's fighting for, right? That's where he's got to start. And then by the end of it, he's got to be back to, I remember why I do this, let's make the world a better place. And I think the way he does that is through this. I think if you give him this warrior, this strong female character who shows up and is his equal and brings out the best in him again, he can remember why he fights. He can remember what this is all about. Sure, he'll see Superman do some heroic, awesome things at the end of the movie when they're fighting and he'll be like, wait, you're not that bad of a guy. Maybe I have this wrong. But you need to get them on the same page and give Batman something to fight for. I think if you give him love, he has something to fight for in a new way that brings him back to, all right, Batman's still a dick because Batman's always a dick, but I believe in this dick and I trust this dick and I want to see this dick in a bunch of other movies. Next photo, please. Uh, this is back to what I was talking about earlier. Of course, we've seen this before. Uh, these people reaching out to Superman. Again, I, I, I did a rewind kind of thing here with the Batman v Superman trailer. It looked like he saved these people, I would say, and then brought them to a real city. Like, I, I, you know, I envision them being an island in indigenous, indigenous people. Uh, and he brings them to like a city to save them. And then they all reach out, I'm assuming, thinking he's a god, right? So this is back to the whole duality. God or devil. Where is it? Christ or Antichrist? Uh, and that's what, you know, there's a quote here from Henry Cavill basically saying that Bat the first one, Man of Steel, was from the perspective of Clark. Batman v Superman is mankind's perspective on Superman, which sounds awesome. If they play with those themes, it's going to be good. It's going to be cool. Another iconic shot that we've already seen, kind of, Batman in his armored suit, kryptonite, strength augmenting, shining the light up to draw Batman or Superman out. Uh, all the quote here talks about is that it's dark, it's rainy in Gotham. Gotham's got to be even more dreary seeing as how Metropolis was dark to begin with. They do throw out the fact that uh, it, it was a continue. the fact that Man of Steel was grit and gray was the continuation of Nolan's trilogy and the counterpoint to Marvel's bright and zippy universe, which I've been saying for a long, long time. Jump over here now. We got Lex here. Now, this is the one I think that I got the most questions about is like, what do I think of Lex with hair? Like, oh, da, da, da. the quote, the little caption here says, of course, that he's going to have the chrome dome, as they say. He's going to be bald. We already saw that. We already knew that from leaked photos. People are saying that you're going to see the transformation, that, you know, you'll see the experiment gone awry that'll take away his hair. I don't buy it. I think that this is just going to be a wig he's wearing, similar to what uh, Spacey was doing in the very, very beginning of Superman Returns, right? I think that. It would be, it would waste time giving Lex another motivation to go after Superman. You don't need it, right? What you need, I mean, you already have everything as Lex that you need for a good Lex Luthor. He hates Superman because he believes humanity is, are the kings of Earth, right? He, Earth belongs to humanity. And Superman showing up as an alien, destroying a major part of the city, that motivates Lex to be like, no, no, this guy sucks. These people are here to ruin us. We have to take them out. You figure, I've always been saying, I've been saying since pretty much the jump here, and I don't know if it's, it'll come true or not, Lex's motivation, the way he's suddenly this billionaire stronghold on Metropolis, is the fact that Metropolis got destroyed, right? Like a large part of it in uh, Man of Steel. So Lex gets to come in, build Lex Core Tower, build everything around it, own all the things, and be like, hey, I'm the real savior of Metropolis. I'm the guy who get, came back and built you guys back up in five years to make you, be, make you what you need to be. This guy's the reason he got destroyed. Don't trust him. Don't make a hero out of him. Make a hero out of me. That's all you need. That's a great thing to go for. I'm stoked about that. I hope that's what his motivation is. Jumping here, yeah, this is now this is what I was going back to. Batman at night, Bruce Wayne during the day. Bruce Wayne at day, Batman at night. So here we have what looks to be a fight scene, we'll say, in Metropolis or Gotham. Uh, I'm sure they're jumping around. Uh, and then you have your older Ben Affleck there getting direction from Scott Snyder in an awesome Batman v Superman shirt. But I love the graying on the temples. I love that this is an older Batman. Super excited to see what they do that. You imagine the fight goes off here and, and Bruce Wayne's got a... I guess, save people, I'd imagine, rather than fight. And then we're back to the cover. Super stoked. Like I said, I'm, I'm in. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Are there a lot of questionable decisions that make me worry about the DC Cinematic Universe? Of course, but what I always go back to is when I saw Man of Steel the first time, I remember being like, oh, that was okay. It, wasn't, I, it, wasn't, it didn't hit the heights I thought it was going to hit. And months if not years later when I watched it on HBO again I had lowered expectations which sounds terrible 
But I was like, oh, you know what? This was a fun movie. It just wasn't the movie I was expecting. I had an idea of what Man of Steel was going to be based on the trailers. And so when I got to see Man of Steel and it wasn't that, I didn't know how to process it. When I saw it as it was, standalone film, for me, it really gave me the vision for what the DC Cinematic Universe could be. And I go back to the fact that, like, you know, people die. People die in Man of Steel. A lot of people die in Man of Steel. And I think that's real. That's the big thing about it is, like, DC keep, has t talked about it here and there. And they mentioned this article, right, that this is supposed to be happening in our world. So, spoilers, if Superman shows up tomorrow and fights Doomsday in New York City, a bunch of people are going to get caught in that crossfire and die. And that sucks, but that's real. That's how that universe would be. Now, that has to be a contrast to Marvel's universe, right? I, and this is a big thing for me, is the fact that in Age of Ultron, spoilers, not really, when they're like, we gotta get everybody off this rock, and they evacuate all these people, I remember being like, that is so corny. That's so, ch oh. That's the opposite of what happened in Man of Steel. Man of Steel got flogged for it, and it's like, they're going for two distinct different vibes. Because if DC does exactly what Marvel does, then everybody's like, well, this is the same thing, da da da, it's boring, yada yada. DC has to go and hopefully do these bigger things, wrestle with these bigger themes of would we want these superheroes being around? Would we want these aliens being around and having all this power? If they do that right and make that a real heartfelt story, that's going to be fascinating to watch. You know what I mean? And it will be very different. I always say, though, like the real test of this and what the, D what, the real test of what the DC Cinematic Universe is going to be is Suicide Squad. Man of, or Batman v Superman comes out and love it or hate it, people are just going to be like, well, it's another Zack Snyder film. Da, da, da. But if we get to Suicide Squad and it's still gray, it's still gritty, it's still re reality based, that's when we can finally go, okay, see, this is the DC Cinematic Universe. This is what they're going for. Will it happen? I don't know. We've got to wait quite a few months more, but I'm still super stoked. Obviously, this is a great cover. I can't wait to get, get it in my hands, look through everything, read it cover to cover. Um, but what do you think? I need to know in the comments what you guys think of this cover, what you think of Batman suit, what you think of Superman, what you think of Wonder Woman. D did any of my theories I've been spouting in here about what's going to be happening in these movies make sense? Let me know. Of course, hit me up on Twitter anytime you want to talk about it. Uh, of course, keep coming back here. Subscribe. YouTube.com slash uh, kind of funny. We have too many channels. Uh, and we put up reacts like this all the time to nerdy stuff. And I assure you, as these comic book movies continue, there will be a lot more to react to. Of course, we'll be at Comic-Con next week. So... Look for all sorts of shenanigans from there. Until next time, it's been my pleasure to serve you.